What's up, everybody? So I want to talk to you guys for a second about Donald Trump's possible plan that he has. Everybody's going toward like the legal aspect that's kind of illegal to do, right? They're talking about how Donald Trump is going to go through some legal clause that um, that allows him in the, the House to take over uh, the presidency and therefore Mike Johnson will say, I'm not giving it to uh, Kamala Harris to hand over to the next president. I'm just going to challenge it, not let it get to the floor if I'm still the House Speaker. And I'm going to send that straight to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, already rigged, will give the presidency to Donald Trump. Now, I've seen people talk about this, but nobody literally talks about how that would happen. Would it be that they say that it was an illegitimate race? And if so, just like he did before with 60 court cases, where's the proof? Correct? Exactly. So I believe Donald Trump is setting up the proof right before everybody's face. Nobody's recognizing what he's doing. That Klan rally he held was on purpose. 100% on purpose. Was no gimmick and no plan with it. Like, oh, we we just want to tell you I'm sorry. And all. no, they're not sorry. They literally put it in your face. Trump hasn't denied it. His people have kind of like slightly denied it and said he doesn't necessarily believe this way. And we all know Donald Trump is a racist. He's been talking down about Latin people for fucking ever. Black people, he wanted us unalive for crimes we didn't commit. And once he found out that we didn't commit it, he still had no problem with us being unalived. Wouldn't rent homes to us. Call us shithole countries. Yeah. I don't know how many times people have to be told. Now, he went after Puerto Ricans. Said they're living in garbage or they're a garbage country. So you're garbage people from a garbage place. That's what he said. Well, that's what he allowed to be said because those jokes were in a teleprompter, which means he knew what was going on. Remember, Mr. Producer? It kills me how you guys say he's a master producer. He's a master entertainer. But then he's going to put on a show that he had no place in. Uh, I don't know who he is. I don't know what he did. you telling me you allowed your show to be produced, Mr. Master Producer, Executive Producer, Mr. Entertainment himself, allow people to be on his show that he didn't know? Get the fuck out of here. This was planned, and I guarantee you, this is my theory as to why they're doing this. Push the hate toward Latin people. They've already been talking about Mexicans. They've already been talking about uh, Muslims and people or, or immigrants. And they've been talking about Puerto Ricans who aren't immigrants, but they're Latin. Guess what Donald Trump's going to do by listening to what he's been doing? Take a bird's eye view. They're going to say the actual presidential race, it's not about the courts. It's about Democrats letting in millions of illegal immigrants. Even though Puerto Ricans are not illegal immigrants, it doesn't matter. You're Latin. You're clumped in with the uh, Mexicans. And on top of that, you're clumped in with black folk. So he's going to say that there's over 12 million 20 million, I believe. He'll probably go even higher. 50 million Latin people. We can't count the Latin vote because they're immigrants that voted. Exactly what the Democrats brought in. All those immigrants voted. We got to subtract how many immigrants literally was in this country from the vote. How are we going to do that? We're going to have to challenge it. But then you have to go to court to have these people that you believe to be immigrants. But you have to understand, they're not going straight to court. They're going to bypass all that because it's major. We have no time to go through all these other courts. The Supreme Court is just going to have to pick it up. And they're going to have to make the decision. Yeah, the ones that gave him immunity are going to be the ones that make the decision on who the president is or isn't. The only way this gets defeated is if Mike Johnson is not the Speaker of the House. So you guys have to vote your hearts out. Democrats all down the row to win the house. If we win the house, we win the presidency. And you guys make that decision. They're counting on 
you guys splitting the vote, giving the Republicans the House or the Senate, right? In this situation, they need the House. They believe that they'll get the House. Therefore, you split that vote. Donald Trump becomes a president illegally, and they know what they're doing. So that's my theory on what he's doing. Everybody else is thinking about the legal aspect and thinking about the, the, uh, what they did before on January 6th, the insurrection. No, this one's more deeper than that because they've already tried that and they expect that coming. So you guys going to be loaded up with weapons and everything like that, meaning the government to protect the vote. They got snipers on buildings, y'all. Ain't no Trumper making it out alive. They try something stupid. So they haven't got that situation or that avenue to try and win. What they do have is inside the government, which tells you one thing. Republicans do not like democracy because they're literally plotting to kill it while actually going out and speaking about we're the party of law and order. And Mike Johnson, are you stupid or do you think we're stupid? You guys voted the last time to not legalize the actual president to become the president. After an insurrection, you came out and still voted to not verify the electors. And you want us to believe that you're the person of law and order when you tried to take the presidency and destroy democracy the last time and lost. Now you're trying it again and you're the ones who are patriots. Get the fuck out of here. See, I think patriot means to them is loyalty to whiteness. That's a patriot. Fuck the country and all the people and the melting pot or whatever you want to call it. The loyalty is to whiteness, not to America. America is a figment of their imagination. Whiteness is the real thing. They want you to be loyal to their whiteness. That's the thing. When they say patriot, it's not a patriot to America. It ain't a flag. It's patriot to white skin. That's what they're talking about. Because everything they do is against the flag. Everything they do is against democracy. They literally try and break democracy. They don't try to build it, to build on it, to make it a better place. See, they believe it being a better place when white people, specifically white men, are empowered and everybody else subdued. Poor white people. They want you guys to shut up and just vote for them. Fuck what you want in life. Fuck getting opportunities. Fuck being able to ever own a house and all that shit. No, forget that because a black woman's offering it to you. You need to stick with patriotism. Stick with your white people because we're right. We're right for us. And we'll make sure that you feel like you're just as good as us, but you'll never be. Don't believe me. There is a video out with Peter Thiel talking about poor people and rich people. He literally says, the people down there when he's in San Francisco because they live up in the mountains with all the money and power and shit. He literally said that poor people on the streets of San Francisco are needed because they're down there. My property value goes up while I'm up here. So I ain't going to do shit for poverty. Why would I? My property value will go down. Yeah. Peter Thiel said that shit. Yeah. The boy that's got... um. J.D. Vance's back pockets, the one that's blowing him out. Yeah, that guy literally said poor people need to be here so that I can live above them. We don't want to be around them. You ever ask yourself the question, why are these rich people trying to get up into space and live up there? Because you're not going to be able to afford to live up there. They hate you guys so much. They want to get off the planet that you guys are living on. They want to separate themselves from you because they think you guys are highly beneath them. They do not like you. And what they plan on doing to this country, they want to get off of it because the only way they can get even more rich if they destroy it. And they're going to build some man-made world in the air because they're planning on robbing this one of all its resources to become rich as freaking possible. They see the, the view of America in a very horrid dark way, which tells me they believe in global warming. They just don't give a fuck. They're willing to destroy it to make money. That's the people you guys are celebrating. People who have no problem destroying the freaking country just so they can go live on a bubble in the freaking air and control 
the world that way, become their own gods. These rich people have gone batshit crazy with so much power that they're trying to be God. And you guys are in awe of them. I think they're sick human beings. With all that money and how much good they could be doing for the American people, poor white people, black people, Asian people, we can have a world where we're really all working toward the same goal to keep this precious country precious while still making money and by helping our people and society become all they were created to be so that if I'm the one helping you, of course, you're paying me. You're going to still get your rich, rich people, but rich people who give a fuck about the rest of the people become even richer. We're giving money to maniacal people that are trying to destroy the earth, knowing they're doing it. They believe in science. They cannot get that wealthy and not believe in science. Hell, Elon owns a spaceship, knows damn well he believes in science. He knows where the world is going if they do not stop doing what they're doing. And in the face of knowing they're destroying the fucking country, they're building rockets, and trying to build homes in the sky instead of stopping and healing the world we live on right now so that it doesn't have that problem. Greed over the people. Greed over God's green earth. Tell me how that's Christian. Let me destroy what God created so man can create something in air, a resemblance of what God created so that he can become God. Can you imagine living in some bubble in the sky? You're trapped. If this fool literally says, hey, everybody here, your wives are my wife. Don't like it. Jump out. You really want a maniacal person like that to live in the sky. Boy, y'all need to stop these people, not join their side. They're trying to destroy America, not build it. They hate America. First of all, Elon Musk is an immigrant. He doesn't like America at all. Listen to what he says. And Donald Trump just wants to destroy everything too. Everything in Trump's range dies. Every business he's had died. Not because somebody else did something, because over time, this fool drained it. He doesn't know how to run a business. Not at all. If he did, why are they all failing? Who's running them? His family? You see Trump Jr. out here high as a kite going off on a podcast. You think he's running something? He can't even run his thoughts. He'd be making crazy ass statements and shit. You'd be like, what is wrong with him? Glassy eyed, like he just coming off the drug or just hit it. And his eyes are fucking watering like he's crying, but he's smiling. It is weird, that family. And you guys are going to vote for a man that's trying to destroy not only you, but the country you live in and get together with billionaires that say poverty down there needs to stay down there. Because as long as you guys stay down, I stay up here and my property value goes up. How do you want to vote for somebody who thinks that way about you? Poor white folks, poor Latin, black, Asian, they don't care. You're poor. He gives two shits about you. It ain't about white and black with them, even though they don't like white. I mean, they don't like black people and Latin people. It ain't just about that. It's about class. You guys don't have it from where they're from. They're so high on the hog that pff, they ain't caring about none of y'all. They can't see you. You're down there. Their view is up here. Down there is where the peasants live. And that's what Peter Till said in so many words. Go check it out. He literally said that shit out of his mouth about the people down there are poor. And they keep my property values up. So stay poor. That's why they never build plans for you guys to build wealth. That's why you never hear any possibility of doing anything. They're always saying, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Well, they know you need their money to do so. And they pick and choose the winners and losers. So if you haven't made it, that's a reason why. They're not investing in you. Not in any bank. Not in any VC. Not any angel investor. They know the people that they want to invest in. And you don't fit the bill. If you don't like what I'm saying, I'm sorry. But I'm speaking facts. Straight facts. No chaser. Fuck your feelings.